Hello folks, uh, this is 2021, October November, paper 1, 1 and the question number is 11, so it is uh, concerned with the chapter of forces, which also includes density and pressure. It says, a uniform solid block is fully submerged in a tank of water, so it is natural or artificial, it is fully submerged. Natural means that it uh, submerges by itself, artificial means that we apply some force from outside to submerge it. The dimensions of the block are x and y, so x and y are the let us say, uh, let us say the upper area, dimensions of upper area, and uh, uh, so this x x is uh, square. This is uh, somewhat uh, a long thing here. It seems so. The block is held vertically in the position shown. So, yeah, density of the block is the same as density of water. So density of both of those things are same. So that means we are holding it forcefully here. We are holding it forcefully here because if they are the same density, it would be on the surface. It would be just submerged, just submerged, and it should be on the, uh, on the, uh, floating in the surface. If the block is always held at the same depth d below the surface of water, so held means deliberately, which single change would increase the magnitude of the upward force on the block? So we have to find a factor which would single-handedly uh, single handed increase the magnitude of upthrust. So, first of all, we have to know that the value of upthrust is given by given by uh, weight of liquid displaced, which ultimately becomes equal to sigma into V of liquid displaced into Z. Sigma is of also of the liquid, liquid like this, and that's equal to uh, sigma of liquid is okay. VLD means V of the solid itself into Z. So, since it is fully submerged, the volume of liquid displaced should be equal to the volume of solid here and like this. And another formula is we have FU is equal to pressure difference. Pressure difference at the upper surface, upper surface, which is P1 let us say, and the downward surface, which is P2. So it should be equal to P2 minus P1 into this area. Into this area. So these are the two uh, formula for the upthrust force. Now let's investigate. The first is decrease the density of the block. It means it tells us to decrease the density of the block. But since we are holding it, since we are holding it here, it doesn't make any sense. Or even if we decrease the density, if it, this density is uh, high, but if we cannot uh, let it go, then there's no difference. If you let it free, yes, it can come up. It can come up because the upthrust becomes higher at that time. But uh, otherwise, otherwise uh, uh, it's of no use here. So decreasing the density of the block does not cause any difference in the upthrust because no way involved here. Hold the block horizontally. So now if I hold the block horizontally like this, like this, what can happen is this area can change this area can change but 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 what happens is this thickness also changes this difference in height also changes area changes area will increase but uh, this thing decreases it's because the difference in uh, depth of upper and lower they also change and ultimately upthrust will become the same and it can we can also uh, state that by this formula because the volume of a solid is same, liquid is same, density liquid is same, and so after the same. Next is increase dimension y. So if I increase this y, what happens is this p1 might remain same, p2 might be might increase. If I make it like this, p2 will increase because p2 is at a much greater depth. P equal to rho g into that h. H is the depth. H is the depth. So this depth increases and that's why FU can increase. Next is increase the density of the block. Again, of no use. It's because it's already drowned here. If I increase, it will even drown, even be more drowned. And also we are holding it tight there. That's why this and this, no difference, no use. And this uh, density is never available, here, never in the formula here, in the picture here. So if I do this, area might increase, but this thing decreases. So again, same, or you can say with this formula, there's no difference at all. The only difference is by the use of this thing. So choice number C should be the correct choice.